Friday, everybody. Hope you have good plans for the weekend lined up. Uh, I've had the good fortune of sitting in a number of CEO peer groups, senior sales peer groups over the last week. And I've seen a couple of trends specifically about onboarding and selling during a pandemic. And I know we've spoken about those before, but there's a couple of specific items that I thought would be interesting to everybody. So number one, one of the things that I've seen loud and clear from the heads of sales that I've been speaking to is one of the things they're most worried about is onboarding team members. Uh, with everyone working remotely and working from home, they're all worried about conveying their culture, building a sense of teamwork, but also training people while they're not on site. Uh, what I hear are a lot of concerns like, uh, we rely a lot on shoulder taps, being able to quickly ask the person beside you if that was working, or we rely a lot on passively listening in our managers will listen to the new SDRs to hear their calls. And in a pandemic, when people are working from home, that doesn't work. The reason I share that is everybody who comes through Uvaro has been building the skills to work remotely, to learn remotely and onboard themselves. And this is a really good opportunity to show that skill off. Uh, one really good example, one of our recent grands, Angeline, took the effort to build a resource for her peers so that they had some useful information on hand. Um, and because you know how to make those resources for yourselves, sharing them, making them available to your team, thinking about the way you've learned in class, the way you've worked on assignments, the way you've shared and communicated using video, using Slack, using the media available to you, these are all invaluable skills. Yes, that's good for your own onboarding but every VP of sales is struggling with it. So it's also a very unique opportunity to show your worth even beyond an SDR role. Uh, so if you have the opportunity to work on those resources, improve the onboarding, please share the feedback with your leaders, your managers, your VPs, so that they can improve the experience for everyone else and it'll be a great opportunity for you to shine. Um, so really consider it a strategic advantage because it clearly is from all the peer groups I'm chatting with. The second thing, I wanted to talk about was selling during a pandemic. Uh, and really what we're seeing is we're seeing there's some companies who have this huge tailwind because of the current circumstances, like Zoom. Zoom's selling a ton of software. But there's a lot of other companies that are struggling because their customers have more limited budgets. And something that struck me is a number of software companies are like Kite, like Vidyard, like others, sell into multiple departments in a company. And I've been seeing a number of CEOs and VPs of sales coach their teams on techniques to expand the budget. So I know we talk in class about things like the buyer circle, about your champion. Well, if you're struggling in any of those circumstances, something I'm seeing bandied around a lot is the idea of using your champion to get an introduction to the other departments and buyers you might sell into and cobbling together the total necessary budget. I've heard phrases like uh, tin cupping it around the organization or Frankensteining a budget. Uh, but for example, if you are selling technology to sales and marketing at different times and your champion was a head of sales or a sales director, uh, asking them for an introduction to someone in marketing and going out and getting some additional budget so that you can get the whole package. And this comes up when you're talking to a prospect and they can't move forward because of budget, because COVID has locked down their purchasing, because budgets are more constrained or they've had to downsize. That ability to cobble together a larger budget can help you preserve the total deal. The last thing I'll share on that is uh, it's always a balance. And I, I got this from one of the VPs of sales I mentioned earlier. What you're talking about is balancing the ability to close the deal so the opportunity and the risks of adding complexity. If you've got the ability to close that deal with the one department, one budget, you should pursue that. But if you can't, bringing in that other budget may give you a better opportunity, but it's also gonna come at some risk. It's going to extend the deal cycle because there are more buyers. There's more moving parts, more people who might object. Um, so it's not that it's a panacea, it's not solving everything. Uh, but especially in today's circumstances, building those muscles around understanding there is a buyer circle. Your company may sell to multiple personas and you can ask for those introductions are really, really killer techniques. So again, I know these ones are really detailed. They are clearly top of mind. And the part that's really exciting about all of this is this is again, another very strong sign that companies are opening back up 
companies are recovering and software companies are coming out of this stronger than ever. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions on this stuff, let me know. Happy to chat. And again, if you see any questions you'd like me to dig into in these videos, let me know. Always uh, welcome tailoring that dialogue to what you're experiencing or what you're wondering. Anyway, again, happy Friday. Hope you have a great day and happy selling. We'll chat soon. Ciao.